Okay, then what we're going to do is we're just going to watch this live now and let's see what potentially happens here. This is the area we're interested in, okay? Is it going to break this trend line and come down towards this particular trend line? Or is it going to break this trend line? So there's two ways that we can look at this or two potential things that we're going to be watching for. A simple full body candle below this line will give us a trade potentially to no more than this particular area here, which is a potential support area. Or we're going to break this trend line, break the A, we're going to come down to look for the right tip and off we go towards this particular trend line right here. This of course would be your left tip, centre tip and this would have been your right tip for a bull crown. But let's wait and see, we're not quite sure what's going to happen, we have to wait for this development, okay? This is where the patience comes in. So I'm going to place you on pause. Okay, then this battle is still happening, the reason that I'm just coming very quickly back on is... When you are looking to trade, what do you always do? You check your fundies and what we've got right now, folks, in about two or three minutes time, are two USA fundies. So we're unable to take this trade just yet, but the battle's still around, so it doesn't really matter. So we're going to hold off, um, wait until this fund is taken, which would be the close of this candle anyway, will be the, the hit of the fundy. So we're okay just to wait and see what happens. Remember patience. Okay, we can see the fundamental announcements are now hitting. So this is the candle for the fundamental announcement. We've now broken this particular trend line. So let's see what happens here. So let's zoom in. We can have a better view of this. Let's see what happens, okay? Okay, let's have a quick look then at where we are right here. So have we taken this A high out, first of all? Let's have a look. This was the A high that we were talking about. I'm just going to change. In fact, I'll leave that as black no i won't change my mind i want to change it to red so we've taken the a out look we've taken the high out so what are we now expecting well we're expecting a potential move retrace to test the back of this trend line before we then see the bull crown remember left tip center tip And this, of course, is your potential right tip area. Because we've got this area right here, this is the area we need to be looking. Left tip, centre tip, okay? So let's put you back on pause. Okay, then what we're seeing right now? Well, potentially we're seeing a double top. Potentially, look, here we go. Potentially this is a double top. You've got point one. Um, here it found resistance. It's found resistance again, although it has taken out the high. But we have to be cautious because it could be a double top as well. So if it moves back below this particular trend line right here, if it moves back below that trend line, then we're possibly setting up to go short and we're possibly setting up to come back down towards this trend line. This is all about managing, managing the trade as it's going along, folks. Now, bearing in mind that also moved. It moved to this area right there. So you can see now that because we made a higher high, we can move this trend line and look at this, it's kissing on the back of the trend line. So if this particular call, if this particular candle here closes a bearish candle, then we are potentially going down to this area. But I won't be trading it. And why won't I be trading it? Well, because this is your A, B, and because we've taken out the A, what happens? Two candles, when we get two candles left, two to the right, your swing has now changed. It's now changed to an A, B up swing potentially a b and of course if this continues this could be looking for support at a fibonacci level if we draw this in it could be looking for a support at fibonacci level and then of course it would again continue to its extension by going north but we don't know so i'm going to take the um, i'm going to take a back seat and i'm going to watch what happens okay if this had not taken out this this um, this high, I would be waiting for this close of this candle to be a full body short, and then I would be taking it with my stop just below this high point. But it did take out the high, and therefore it's cancelled this trade out for me. But this would be one of my trades had it not taken out the high, okay? I think what we've also got to be careful about here is we are still potentially in that crown setup and this could be, if we take a look, this could be where you're looking for and this again could be where we're looking for at the 86, 78.6, 86. This could be the bounce that we're looking for at the right tip. 
because what we've had is we've had a break a break of the high break of the trend line comes back towards the 78.686 finds the right tip and then it might take a move further off that would be your left tip that would be your center tip remember this would be your right tip so potentially we're still in the crown and it all depends on where we go just remember we took out the high this high is taken out so caution 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 don't think because we're now back below this area that we've actually gone short because we're in a potential crown setup look at it now this could potentially now be going long but we don't know it's bounced at the 61.8 so if this now closes above this line right here then I will be looking to potentially go long well let's take a look at where we are right now we're on this particular candle right here it looks like it could potentially close above this trend line of course a bullish candle and therefore this could potentially be the right tip left tip um, now we're at 10 to 2 and therefore do we have any more fundamental announcements coming up shortly no we don't so this could potentially be now we've got the open and now I'm going long so I'm actually entering a trade here folks this is going to be my trade okay right here I'm entering here I've now entered on the open and my sh close will be below the A so I'll just come back shortly so having entered this particular trade then what I've got I opened on there on the open so I've got a potential say 16 plus a couple of pips spread 18 pip stop loss potential 30 plus pips potential gain so let's see what happens. We'll keep watching this and I'll keep coming back and we'll put it on pause. Right, you can see then that um, in actual fact we're now up. So we're now in a positive um, pip situation. When we take out this particular level here, I can move this trend line down to this level here and we can use that as a potential stop area. So let's see what happens. But so far, so good. This was, if we take... Um, note this was the right tip but remember I waited until we got back above this line with a full body candle that gave me an additional reason why I should be entering but it's not over yet folks let's see where we go put you back on pause okay then folks I'm now at one to one and what I mean by that is this was with me open I was risking 16 pips I'm at the moment 16 pips up so I've just taken two lots off the table and I'm going to leave the third lot running now that means that I've just taken 32 pips leaving one lot still running so if this now comes back and takes me out I'm still going to be plus 16 pips this is what I now call a free trade now I can now move this trend line I'll go up to daisies let's have a look I can now move this trend line why can I move the trend line? Because we've now taken out this high. Trend line property is a nice ray. Okay, there we go. If I'm up to this area, I can then take some, I can actually lock in some pips if I want to, or I can take the third lot off the table. Well, a great trade there, folks. See how it is. Keep it simple. All I did was play the crown. Thank you very much. I'll catch you in the next trade.